Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to make a one-of-a-kind tic-tac-toe game. Let's get into it. Now, I originally saw the plans for this online. They have all different kinds of shapes and sizes, but what I really liked about it is that it is compact and that it is mobile. You can take it with you anywhere. So, let's get started. Per usual, I am using all scrap wood for this project. I set my blade to 30 degrees to get the cut on my triangle pieces. After the first angle cut, I taped the cutoff back into place so I would have a flat surface for the second cut. I'm going to be using rabbit joints to put the box together. Finding the center of a triangle is pretty easy. Just trace a line from the center of one of the flat sides to the opposite tip. Do this on all three sides and the intersecting lines will give you your center point. I want the triangle pieces to spin freely, so I use some files to sand out the hole. Taping a piece of sandpaper to a block of wood makes sanding small pieces much easier. I decided to add some dividers between the triangle pieces to keep them from sliding into each other and bunching up on one side. Now originally I was going to use this oak dowel for this project, but then I found this aluminum dowel in my shop and I figured a little metal would look kind of cool on this project. Um, they're both found at the local hardware store and they both run about the same price, pretty inexpensive, a couple dollars each. Aluminum is really soft and cuts very easily on the table saw.
I used some acrylic paint to add a pop of color and then some rubber stamps to add the X's and O's. I'll leave a link to the rubber stamps in the comments below. I used E6000 on the rods and wood glue on the rest of the frame. A few coats of spray polyurethane and it's ready to play. And our project is complete. Honestly, a lot more work went into this than I had originally expected, but I would say it's worth it because it's really cool. Um, as you can see, the way I painted it, I painted so that on the blank half, half of it is painted and half of it is wood, so you know which side is the O's and which side is the X's. I just love that it's travel size. You can slip it into a bag or into a backpack. Pull it out if you are in a waiting room or if you're waiting for a table at a restaurant. Um, give you something to do and have a friendly game with someone or just leave it on your coffee table for a conversation piece. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you want to see all our other projects, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. And we would love to hear in the comments below what you thought of this project. Or if you've built any cool travel size pocket games that you want to share with us in the comments below, we would love to see them. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.